He's here right now, mainly due to the fact that that truck. What's up guys, I'm TJ aka Fishing with the Backpack, and unfortunately sometimes these type of things happen. So just to put a little context behind what exactly happened, about a year and a half ago I fished here before, okay, with a friend of mine. I've blurred out all names, all locations, all everything, that way nobody gets uh, upset or mad or anything like that. Every, all of that stuff's been blurred out, but I went fishing here at this exact location about a year and a half ago, okay? Just to, to continue adding context to this, I'm 30 years old, I'm in the army, I don't go out and I don't start my day by saying like, I wonder where I can get kicked out of or let's go hop this fence and trespass here and let's go fish this place that we know for 100% we're not supposed to fish. Like, I don't condone that kind of stuff, okay? I don't, I don't personally do that, I don't, I don't recommend you do that because obviously like I'm not trying to be out there getting in trouble, like I don't want you guys out there getting in trouble. Uh, I try to set a, a very, positive example here on this channel okay and like I spread positivity and the positive vibes you know what I'm saying but uh, unfortunately things like this do happen sometimes and anyways I fished here before with a friend of mine a really good friend of mine so long story short we pull up on the side of the road and we walk through this like 10 foot like gap like 10 feet like this way like 10 feet long I don't even know how to explain that just like 10 feet that way anyways it was like this wooded area right there was not a single none whatsoever no no trespassing signs, no fishing signs, no warning signs, no nothing. Now, automatically, I, and, and just the way this place is like set up, like you can see like a golf course like off in the distance, but I would say, for example, like where, where we fished, it's like probably 200 yards or so uh, on the golf course, but it's like this big lake. I don't know, it's really hard to explain. Anyways, in no way, shape, or form in this video am I in anyone's way whatsoever i am not a distraction to the golfers i am not uh in danger of being hit by a golf ball unless someone hit one directly at me but then that'd be a disaster because they would catch these hands no, i'm just kidding i'm just kidding i'm just kidding anyways point being i fished here before with zero issue whatsoever no problems uh, as a matter of fact when i fished here with my friend uh, there were golfers like cheering us on like i think he ended up catching like maybe a four and a half or five pound or something like that and uh, the, one of the golfers was like, hey, that's a good fish. And like, it, we, were just, we were just chilling. We were just vibing, having a good time. Lo and behold, today of all days where I really got to finish a video, I'm like, you know what? I haven't fished here in a very long time. So I was like, mm, why not? We'll go give it a shot. I was there for probably less than 10 minutes. One group of golfers came by, waved to them, no big deal. The second group of golfers came by, waved to them, no big deal. And the third group of golfers that came by, it was a group probably of like, there was like three golf carts. I think there may have been six or seven people. I don't know. But uh, however many people it was, doesn't matter. But they kind of stood there and looked at me. They didn't say anything. I don't, I don't remember waving to them or them waving me or anything like that whatsoever. Up until this point, I had not caught a fish yet, right? So <laughs> it's crazily enough. I hook into this fish, show it off to the GoPro for a second, release it back into the water. Well, apparently that golfer was not at all happy that I was there. I, I don't know if he thought that I was in his way or if I was a distraction when I hooked into the fish. I don't know, but I do know this. <laughs> I was in the wrong by being there. I didn't know. So this is completely, my, it's on me. It's my fault. I, I, I won't go back obviously, but if you are golfing and you let somebody catching a fish distract you from being able to hit a golf ball, I don't know what to tell you. I mean, I'm not saying that to be like arrogant or anything, but if you let the splash of a fish catch, that noise of the fish catch get in your way. Now, I understand if you're out there hooting, hollering, and screaming and stuff. I don't do that when I fish. I'm just not that kind of person. But the splash of a fish, like as you're fighting it and it's like jumping, like if that distracts you from hitting a golf ball, I don't know what to tell you. As I go to pick my pole up, I glance like in this general direction that way, and I noticed there was one guy in a red shirt, and I could see the bright, shiny gold badge on his like belt buckle, and I was like, oh, that's not good. And then I saw like an actual police officer with him, so I was like, oh, this is really not good. So I picked my rod up, and instantly I saw them, so I'm not gonna sit there and make another cast. I'm like, you know, trying to see like, like what's like, clearly something's not right, okay? So I walk up to this security guy and the police officer, and I'm like, hey, good morning. Well, they didn't say anything and I was like okay this is really gonna be bad so <laughs> I said good morning again when I got a little bit closer trying to like de-escalate the situation because I didn't want them to come at me at like from like zero to hundred I didn't want them to be at a hundred like you, you just you show respect you get respect so you know get up to him again good morning the guy says good morning uh, the police officer didn't know it, like who I was or anything like that obviously uh, but the security guard asked me who I was. I told him my name. He was like, oh, and then he like, went from 100 back down to like 20. He was like, oh, okay, not the same person. Like, 
we're okay. Anyways, they ended up clearing this up for me like on the spot. They was like, all this you're fishing right here is property of this place. And I honestly, I literally had no idea because like I said, there are no signs. There's nothing to indicate that I was on private property. Again, I do not condone that. I do not recommend you do that. Like, please don't, okay? Anyways, enough talking. I'm gonna show you guys firsthand how to deal with that type of situation, okay? If you if you get caught up in a situation like that where you truly, you just didn't know, like it, it just all on it, it's an honest mistake is all it was. You didn't know, this is exactly, exactly how you deal with this, okay? 100%, it, it cannot get any smoother than this. Anyways, we'll see you guys at the end of the video. There we go. First fish of the day, baby. Had to switch up baits to the black and blue cutter worm because the other one just wasn't working. Let's go. Morning. Morning. How y'all doing? How you doing? Oh, good, good. Uh, apparently, they spoke to you several times about fishing on the property. You cannot. Let me verify real quick. What's your name, sir? TJ. Uh, TJ. Yes, yeah, sir. Okay. Cool. okay. So you're drying right this truck? No, no, no. That, no th that red Dodge? That's mine. That's mine. That's your truck? Yes, sir. So and drives your truck on property? No. My, my truck doesn't come. When, when we come fish with mm -hmm. it's on... Uh, Okay. Uh, but I wasn't aware. Is this all like? Yes, sir. Okay. This well, that, okay. This That's... is all most property with it. So, okay. And he's here right now mainly due to the fact that that truck comes back because the only time that truck's been logged into our property, it's been logged in. Under Interesting. Okay. Over to Interesting. So that might have been last September. I think the one time that we drove my truck in here, but I've got everything. I mean, I can show you the registration. It's my truck. It's all, it, it's all in my truck, sir. Okay. It's all in my truck. Go get them? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Do you guys just want to go ahead and like move it out there or however yeah, you guys want to? Okay. No, I, um, when I first moved here in, uh, 2018, um, this is one of the first spots actually one of the first people that i met that fishes there's the i would go out this way okay. are you guys good walking through here or yep, that's fine. <sighs> now me personally i've actually never uh i've actually never been told to uh leave here Okay. That was uh, if that's a thing, that's something that I'm uh, okay. you know, unaware of. And if that's the case, then right. my apologies, and I won't be back from, out. Were you originally from West Palm? No, no, no. So originally from Georgia, uh, got stationed all over, and now down here. Okay. But I bought a house, so I had to transfer my license. But yeah, if that's a thing, then that's uh, you know. Yeah, you can't. All of this is a private problem. You got it. That's that's. Um, that's how we'll handle it then. What about the one over there by the station? That's private. Is that you guys? If by you the are, fire station? If you are on the east side okay. of the road, you're good. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's, that's we don't get involved with. Gotcha. The same thing if you continue on down this direction. Gotcha. Um, not the first right hand turn that you'll see. Mm -hmm. The next one is called. Okay. There's another fishing spot up there okay. that Perfect. that's public. Perfect. Um, but all of the lakes basically that butt up to in this area. The road. It's all. It's all private property. Gotcha. Yes, sir. So, um, no. Yeah. I know. <laughs> no, go ahead, go ahead. Um. No. So again, I, I'm gonna apologize. No, no. For that's him coming today. No, it's all. Normally, it would just be us going through and telling yeah. you. But like I said, when we ran the tag for this truck, yeah. I guess it's come in with you, or you okay. came in with. Okay. It's probably when his truck was in the shop in September. Could be. Could yeah. be. So it's registered to him. We've had gotcha. a lot of problems with him not listening. Okay. Um, and this was basically going to be his last. I was about to see, see, that's the thing. You guys tell me not to come back, and that's that is what it is. As I've tried to explain, to him, has a friend who lives in the community. He's on their guest list. We have zero problem with him fishing mm -hmm. with that resident okay. because it's private property and only with that resident. Yeah, it's, it's funny that you say that because he never he never explained to me 
what happened. He just said that the cops came one day, mm -hmm. and it, not that he made, you know, you guys sound bad. It's, You're absolutely welcome here with yeah, the yeah. resident. Yeah. You're welcome to go fishing. So you yourself? actually have to be with the resident right. to go. Okay. Because the residents actually have a waiver that they have to fill out with okay. us that states that they're allowed to fish inside the lakes. Gotcha. So that's why it's very controlled. It's again, all the lakes are private. They're mm -hmm. owned by the residents. So that's why it is that they go about this okay. that direction. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So. Absolutely. Yeah, it makes sense. It makes sense. You explain it like that. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So that's the only reason. And like I said, it's just because your truck was linked to him. Yeah. No. That we're at these stages. Otherwise, yeah. it would have been. Hey, need you to move along. Yep, so. that, not not an issue. Yeah, I understand. It became, it became a nuisance with him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just, and and if that's the case, him. I mean, you guys, you guys, you guys got to do. I, mean, I know you didn't know. You had yeah. no idea, and it's cool. But just with him, it was just. Yeah. It got to the point they they supposed to him numerous of times. Yeah. And for them to call us. And that's yeah, that's it's, exactly it's right. Because like, you guys hey, security hey, calling the actual fleet. Like that's you know that's a whole other level. Then it's a whole other ball game. Yeah. They don't call us. Yeah. No. Yeah, that's. I mean. I don't know if a trespass warrant is necessary. As long as he's clearing your system, I'm okay. Yeah, he's clear. Okay, okay. Fine. good. Don't so, am I am I on the case of of coming back with down? It's like fishing with her and her kids and everything. Are we good with that? Or if you are fishing with Miss, that is fine. Okay, perfect. Because she's got the permit with us. You're gotcha. here. She knows you're on property. Perfectly fine. Perfect. Okay. Anywhere else. You, you just have to be with her. You yeah, don't even have to be behind her property. You can be fishing here as long as she's with you. Perfect. Okay. That's not a problem. Awesome. It just has to be done with her. Awesome. Okay, cool. Okay. Well, thanks for being yeah. cool about it, guys. All right. And my apologies for the inconvenience. Yep, 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 yep. All right, y'all have a good one. Have a good one. All right, ladies and gents, that's going to wrap this video up. Uh, I usually say I hope you guys enjoyed, but I know it's kind of a weird video to enjoy i guess maybe some people enjoyed watching people get kicked out of places but uh, it went really smooth that whole interaction went really smooth because i showed the respect that was deserved on their end and by doing that they showed respect back to me it was very very nice they were super professional about doing their jobs there was never one single like you know like snide remark or, or like smart aleck comment there was none of that whatsoever like i showed the utmost respect to them and they showed it right back to me uh, and that's how you deal with something like that don't get an attitude with them when you get an attitude with them you're not doing anything but making it worse on yourself uh just to avoid all of this period whatsoever uh don't i would say don't trespass and and on private property and like don't fish at no fishing places but like i didn't i true i honestly didn't know like i i I do not start my day by saying, hey, I wonder if I can go get kicked out of this place. Like, that is not, that is not how I start my day. I, I don't want nothing to do with that kind of stuff. But anyways, show respect, get respect. It's that easy. I hope you guys have an awesome week, awesome weekend. Catch some big fish, and we'll catch you all on the next adventure. Peace!